Hello there and welcome to Barono's Garden. In this video I'm showing how to grow spinach from seed to harvest. Spinach really is a very easy and plentiful vegetable that literally anyone can grow. It's a perfect crop for the beginner in the garden. You can already start sowing spinach around late February and early March. I quickly prepared my spinach seed bed by removing weeds and other stuff that isn't supposed to be there. And then I drew a simple slot of about one and a half centimeter deep in which I drop a seed about every five centimeters. As you can see in these shots, I try to drop a seed about every five centimeters. Then I covered the seeds up with fertile soil and I finished it off by giving plenty of water. I've sown six rows and I kept 30 centimeters in between two rows. Five to seven days later, the spinach was already above the ground. 21 days later, the spinach already had four to five leaves and had grown a lot in only three weeks. I took this shot on a misty morning in Bruno's garden and this is very beautiful as you can see the small water droplets on the green leaves of the spinach. Forty-two days later is when I first did a spinach harvest. For a more in-depth look on how to harvest spinach, I surely recommend you to watch my first harvesting spinach video. Fifty days later, the spinach had already recovered from the earlier harvest and was ready for a second time of harvesting. To harvest spinach, I simply use a sharp kitchen knife and a small basket to collect the leaves. In total, I've harvested four to five times of these six spinach rows before the spinach plants started to make seeds. From this moment on, you cannot use your spinach leaves anymore as the plant focuses all its energy in the production of seeds. After your last spinach harvest, I advise you to cut off your spinach as close to the ground as possible. Maybe even chop your plants up in little pieces and work them into the soil. Because your chopped off spinach plants will re-release a part of the nitrogen that they took up from the soil. So in that way you can recycle your nitrogen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time.